Welcome. All right. So if there's ever been a problem that's going to test you on, do you remember you know, the sines and the cosines, uh, even at trigonometric identities, this is a pretty good one. So um, remember, our sine function is what we call odd. So therefore, if I take the sine of negative x, I'm going to have out the negative that's equivalent to the sine, negative sine of x. But the cosine function, that's actually what we call an even function. So if I have the cosine of negative x, that's actually just going to equal the same thing as cosine of x. And think of it, another very common. Rosa, could you report sorry. to the main office? Rosa, report to the main office, please. Another very common uh, even function would be like the quadratic. You know, if you have like negative 4 squared, that's still just going to equal positive 4 squared. Um, the exact same thing. So it's, it's, very, it's exactly the same as far as dealing with quadratics or any other functions on how we're doing trigonometric. So what's nice about that is I know that this then is just going to be regular cosine, and that's now going to turn to a negative sine of x. So I have negative sine of x divided by cosine of x. Now this is going to be minus the sine of x over cosine of x. Now if you remember, sine of x over cosine of x, that's going to be tangent. So it's negative tan of x minus tangent of x. Well, negative tangent of x minus tangent of x is going to be a negative 2 tangent of x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify. I guess I could have put parentheses around all these. I guess I was a little lazy. How you simplify by using your even and odd identities. Thanks.